If you love sheet masks, but don't love paying for them kind of one at a time, because that can definitely add up, you are going to love this video. We are talking all about how to transform some formulations that you might already have on hand into sheet mask essences so that you can sheet mask to your heart's content. Hey Vs, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me. One of the best superpowers you develop as you become a formulator is the ability to look at a formulation and see all of the things that it could be. Now, a lot of the time, formulations get pigeonholed because they're called a face cream or a foot scrub or a hand wash or a shampoo. And we don't think about all the different things that they could be. And of course this works very well for marketers because it means that they can sell you a, a foot wash and a hand wash and a body wash and a hair wash, a shampoo, all separately. When sometimes those products, you know, there could be some good overflow. And so as you learn about formulating and formulations, you start to be able to kind of pull those formulations out of their little pigeonholes and be like, what else? Could you be beautiful little creation? Our unpigeonholing inspiration today is sheet masks. So if you have ever used a sheet mask, uh, you know how delightfully terrifying they can be. But it's like a, a piece of fabric, or th there are different things that can be made of. But we'll say fabric for today that is, you know, roughly face shape that has some roughly face aligned holes in it, and you get it in kind of a squishy packet. And then you, you pull it out and it is sort of sopping wet with this lovely active rich essence. And then you kind of delicately unfurl it and then kind of put it on your face. And then you look terrifying for a while and then you take it off and your skin is just, oh. I have shared a couple of different sheet mask DIYs over the years and I've had requests for more. And part of the, the thing that's held me back from doing more sheet mask DIYs is this feeling that the essence, you know, putting all those amazing ingredients in something that's like just an essence for a sheet mask is kind of a waste. So I thought, well, hey, hold on. Why don't we go back and look at some of the formulations that I have shared over the years that if you just soaked a blank sheet mask in them would make an amazing sheet mask experience but you can still use them on an ongoing basis as you know, a, a regular face serum. So that is what we're talking about today. 10 different awesome formulations that I have shared over the past few years that you can make and use for their original purpose, but also at your sheet masking whims, repurpose and turn into a sheet mask. Something you will definitely need for all of these sheet masking what's it's is sheet masks. So I have this package of blank sheet masks. The, the label says face lotion sheet. These are from Muji. I bought these in London, but Muji stores exist in many places in the world. You can also get these on Amazon. You can also get tons of different uh, types of blank sheet masks. There are heaps of them. I linked to a helpful blog post in my blog post about the different types of material that sheet mask masky parts can be made out of and kind of their different pluses and minuses. So make sure you, you check that out. Uh, but yeah, you'll need these. The very first formulation that you can repurpose is a really simple 1% hyaluronic acid stock. This is a solution made from 1% hyaluronic acid, the required amount of preservative, depending on the preservative that you're using, and then enough water to make 100%. I typically use this solution as an ingredient in other formulations. I don't use it on its own because hyaluronic acid is expensive and you don't need a lot to make a difference. So 20% of this 1% stock equals 0.2% overall hyaluronic acid content in your finished formulation, and that is more than enough. But if you wanna really pamper yourself, you can take some of that solution and you could thin it out a little bit with a bit of a hydrosol of choice. Soak your little sheet mask puck pellet dried thing in it, and you're off to the sheet mask races. As a note, if you are diluting any of these formulations with water or hydrosol to make them sort of thin enough to really absorb uh, well into the mask, 
definitely don't keep that around. You have really diluted that preservative system, so that is a like use immediately and then chuck the leftovers kind of situation. Our next formulation that you can repurpose is my Lavender Aloe Hydrating Facial Toner. This is kind of like taking that hyaluronic acid stock and diluting it with some hydrosol, but I have also included some other goodies like aloe vera juice, a lantoin, panthenol, and some other great humectants. So the original formulation makes a beautiful hydrating toner, but it can also be purposed, repurposed into a sheet mask essence. If you're looking to add some lovely soothing properties to a moisturizing sheet masking experience, definitely try my Hyaluronic Acid and B5 Facial Serum for your sheet mask essence. This combines hydrating hyaluronic acid with soothing panthenol and elantoin to create a really lovely, lovely, soothing, moisturizing experience. And I absolutely adore this stuff as a serum for added hydration-y goodness as part of my morning and night skincare routines as well. My Prickly Pear Gel Eye Cream is a particularly decadent formulation to turn into a sheet mask essence. Featuring a pretty hefty amount of pure caffeine powder, it's great for de-puffing. To help boost barrier performance, try my Winter Solstice Ceramide Gel Cream. This one, along with all the other ones that have gel cream in the name, you are probably going to want to thin out with a bit of distilled water or hydrosol, but oh my gosh, this one is really, really lovely. My Strawberry Rose Body Glow Serum is the first body product that I have included in this roundup, and it focuses very, very heavily on hydration with heaps of gorgeous humectants in it. Not only does it contain luxurious hyaluronic acid, but it contains an almost surprising amount of vegetable glycerin at a whopping 15%. It is scented with a blend of rose and strawberry hydrosols and is really richly moisturizing. If you are looking to brighten, try using my Skin Brightening Toner Mist as a sheet mask essence. The starring ingredients in this formulation are niacinamide, also known as vitamin B3, and N-acetylglucosamine, and they are both good skin brightening ingredients on their own, but when you include them in formulation together, they work wonderfully. Just a synergistic bit of skin brightening greatness. So definitely give that a try. Our eighth sheet maskifiable <laughs> formulation is my brightening gel serum, which I will be very honest, was very much a formulation of what are all of the best actives I have and how can I put them all in one thing? So this formulation features lots of ingredients that I have mentioned already. It has hyaluronic acid, it contains ceramides, it contains that beautiful duo of vitamin B3 and N-acetylglucosamine. It contains skin soothing elantoin and moisturizing vitamin B5 and it is a beautiful yellow color thanks to the inclusion of some coenzyme Q10 which is a potent antioxidant. I really went all out with this formulation so the ingredient list is definitely one of the more expensive ones out of the formulations that I am talking about today, but if you're looking for a treat, I'd say it definitely qualifies. Formulation number nine is a fairly simple rose ceramide gel. So I designed this formulation to be a good kind of get to know you ceramides <laughs> formulation. So it stars ceramides, which are a beautiful ingredient for helping boost barrier performance and rose hydrosol. And I've also included some silicones to make sure that it isn't sticky. And our last formulation is my Soothing Hyaluronic Acid Facial Serum, which is part of the larger soothing series that I did right around the beginning of 2019. As you can probably guess from the name, this formulation is pretty focused on soothing, featuring ingredients like chamomile, cucumber, and aloe vera. Those are the 10 formulations that I recommend sheet maskifying. If you have something else that you think would be a good fit though, give it a try, especially if it is a watery, serum-y thing. Like, give it a go, see what happens. Now, of course, this would not be a video about sheet masks if you didn't get to see me in one. So I'm going to take some of my brightening gel serum. I'm gonna thin it out in a bowl with a bit of distilled water, soak a sheet mask in it, and uh, I'm gonna get all kinds of moisturizing and terrifying looking. So sheet maskifying a serum is pretty simple. We'll start with the, the serum, a squirt, a dollop, not a particularly uh, scientific Thing. I would say roughly two to three times as much as you would apply to your face as a toner. And then add 
distilled water and then add another squirt more than you think you need because these little bad boys are quite thirsty. Whisk to combine. And then take one of your little pucks of sheet mask and pop it in the liquid. You know, turn that on its side so you can see how quickly it grows. Kind of like those gag gifts, the like grow a boyfriend sort of thing that you find at like little joke stores. Kind of grows like that and they're surprisingly thirsty. <laughs> So you may find that you need to add even more water than you did. And I find it is helpful to rotate the little nugget in the liquid. So it, you know, give, it, give it a hand absorbing the moisture that it needs. And with this one, once you start to see an edge that you can kind of pull on, then you know that you're getting hydrated enough. You can kind of unfurl it and it'll absorb even more as that drier core is exposed and I need even more liquid. Give that a little slosh and wipe around. And then once it's fully hydrated and you can unroll it, then you're ready to, you know, fully pull it apart and put it on your face. Here we are with our newly unfoldable, hydrated, substantially larger little pellet of a face mask. Give this an unfold. Uh, yes, if you don't like scary movies or are nightmare prone, maybe just turn the video off here because uh, this inevitably looks <laughs> pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Moist. Well then, hi. I feel, I feel terrified. <laughs> I can see myself in the monitor of the camera. And so um, apologies in advance, but that is pretty much it. We've got our you know, nicely essence soaked sheet mask here. And uh, really all that's left to do is to leave this on my skin for a while until I get tired of having it there, basically. And uh, then when I remove this, I will be rewarded with soft, glowy skin. It's quite difficult to talk with this thing on without it falling into my mouth. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I look forward to hearing about the formulations that you have turned into a gorgeous sheet mask essence. Make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below this video to find links to all of these formulations and more information. But yeah, um, I'm gonna stop talking now because talking plus sheet masking is a challenging combination. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you later.